We have arrived. It is day 11 of the sixth Body Holic Transformation Challenge. Nothing super new is happening today. I want to point out the differences, okay? So I'm going to be using uh, four kilos for some of the exercises. Um, I'm using the medicine ball with the sand in it, so it's kind of, um, it's challenging for the core and stability. Uh, you can use any weight that you want if you want to use a weight. Maybe you don't need a weight, okay, because we're going for 60 seconds on and 10 seconds off. I'm going to be doing the leg drops on my back on the mat. You might want to return to doing them on the chair like we've been doing. All right. So um, let me just make sure that we've got that. I'm going to be using a weight to level up on some of the exercises. You can do the leg drop, right? This, this thing that we've been working on, this thing. You can do that on the chair like we've been doing. I'm going to go ahead and do it on the floor, working my abs, pressing my back to the floor. The first round is going to be the warm up round, 60 seconds on. 10 seconds off, we have three rounds. So one round warm up, we just get used to the exercises and we understand if we need to modify throughout the entire workout or maybe we get that like, all right, we've got to progress it and then round two and round three are gonna be smash rounds. And, um, oh, and also one more thing. So I'm gonna do the kick and lunge. I'm gonna use um, the ball some of the time I'm going to use the couch some of the time. I decided not to go with the higher version. I'm going to play around with my height, but I don't want to stress my hip flexors too much. That was actually the main thing I wanted to tell you, and I, it, I lost it for a moment. So yeah, I'm going to um, decrease part of the time the height of my kickover, and um, that is in order to decrease the um, pressure that I'm putting on my lower back and hip flexors. All right, we're going to get started. We've got 10 seconds to prep and then we're going right into a leg drop and we're going to do the modified version of the leg drop. So your back is going to be pressed to the floor and you're going to glue your legs together. Exhale, bring the knees up. Inhale, touch the floor. We're going for 60 seconds, and you know what? If this is too much for your back, which it might be at this point in the challenge, and I really don't want you to overdo it, feel free to straighten your elbows and place your forearms under your back like so. All right, another way is to actually return to the chair, right, the way we've been doing it up until now. Inhale, tap, exhale, lift. <sighs> Lifting the pelvic floor. Elevating the pelvic floor, working the abs down towards the floor, trying to maintain a relaxed face, neck, and shoulder blades. All right, we're going to get up. We're going to go for the lunge kickover. I'm going to just give it a little kick right into a lunge. I'm going to start on the left leg and the right leg is going to be the mover. So it's a kick over and lunge. I want you to focus on going way back and digging the left heel into the floor. Really dig the heel, the left heel into the floor so you don't stress the knee. Woo! I know everybody's butt is on fire. Everybody's body holic butt is on fire. Right, 
Left leg is going to be the mover. Let's do this. Remember, we are in the warm-up round, so going slow, understanding what your body needs for the workout, whether it's to ramp it up or actually keep it modified, that's exactly what you should be doing now. Getting the heart rate up, the muscles filled with blood, pumped and ready to go. A lot of endurance today, guys. Whew. 18 seconds. We're not going to switch. On the left, right leg is straight out to the side. I don't want you going too low. And again, you want to stick the butt back, dig the heel down, and push yourself over to the right. So I drop to the left, push to the right. I know the endurance is... Uh, I am really pushing your endurance today, <laughs> but you should feel okay about it because I'm pushing my endurance too and we're doing it together. <sighs> oh, digging the heel into the floor, 15 seconds. I am currently praying to the Lord's, the Lord of booties. Oh, to get me through this safely. Three, two. Wow. All right. On my right, left goes back into a cross back. And we drop down, digging the right heel into the floor. It's really about that right heel, but kind of back. And I am constantly aware of my knee cap being aligned with my second and third toe. If you feel the back thigh a little bit, that's completely normal, right? It's also working. But I want you to really generate the move, the move from digging the right heel into the floor. Oh my God. Here's what, let me just share with you. When I hear that beep, beep, I actually have to check because my daughter is, does, is not in daycare today. Let's see this. She's not in daycare today, so I actually have someone watching her and I'm just making sure that it's not her. So I've got like the timer 
and I've got the background, I've got WhatsApp on the background so that I make sure everybody is safe. I never work out like this, ever. But I didn't have a grandma around, I didn't have a dad around to help. So I've got the WhatsApp in the back in the background and I do have to check. I apologize. But you know what? It's better than getting the workout in while she's racing under my legs. You know the deal. You've seen it if you've been around long enough. Ah, dig the heel into the floor. Six seconds. Two, one. All right, we're gonna get down onto the floor. We've got the in-out jack plank. And the way we're gonna perform it now is on our forearms. And we're gonna walk the right foot out. And then the left, keeping the butt relatively low, constantly pushing the forearms into the floor. That means coming out of the shoulder blades. Really press. Press the forearms into the floor. Oh. Coming up on a break, guys. So really, really, really keep your core wrapped around your spine and stay with me. We have 12 seconds. So I want you to do your very best to push through this. Your very best. Don't give up. Stay with me. Done. Done. For some reason, didn't do the triple beat, but we're done. I promise. Oh, all right. Let me reset. Reset. Okay. Sit. Now, you can see why I'm totally for you doing the modified version. The warm-up modification version is tough. You're going to get the work in anyway, I promise, okay? If you want to ramp it up a little bit, if you know what I'm doing, I'm just going to put a little bit of a reference point for the kickover. I'm just going to use that ball for now. I'm going to do the full leg drop on my back, pressing my back into the floor. You can do straight legs also. And if you need somewhere in between the mod and the straight legs, you can just do the straight legs with your hands, with your forearms under your back. All right, just like I showed you before, I'll show you in the middle now. So that's what we're going to start with, the leg drop. Oh man, here we go. In 10 seconds, we've got our leg drop. <clears throat> Let me just start off with the modification so everything's really clear. Okay, you can place your forearms under your back. I am specifically saying forearms and not hands. So you straighten your elbows. Or if you don't have any back issues, you've got a strong core, I do want you to attempt and try to really get the full leg drop in with as little help from your arms as possible. This is a little bit more advanced in terms of core work. You want to really lift the pelvic floor, breathing throughout the drop, breathing throughout the lift. Exhale, especially as you begin the lift. Really take a moment to focus on that. Exhale, especially as you begin the lift. If your back slightly comes off the floor, it's really okay. It might just be that you have an exaggerated lower dosis or just, you know, a slight lower dosis might, when you really drop the legs, might kind of bring your back off the floor. As long as your back doesn't hurt and you're pressing your belly down, then we're good. Now, I'm gonna start um, with the left leg doing the kickover. <sighs> Losing my balance. And so I'm on my right leg, 
digging my right heel into the floor. And right now I'm focused on actually picking up my pace. Less about the height of the leg, more about keeping form while upping my speed. taking me up a notch. Wow! Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Right leg doing the kick over. On the left heel. Man, oh man. Okay, a little bit of an issue here. I sorted it. Let's get through the workout. I'm like so crazy when I'm doing a challenge that it's like, tell my daughter, tell my daughter to wait a second in the middle of the workout. No, but she's okay. She just mentioned that she misses me. So we'll get through it and I'll run and hug her. Where the weight comes in. We're going to be on the right leg. You don't have to use the weight. The weight is going to be in my right chest. And we're crossing back, digging the right heel into the floor. You can change up your speed throughout the minute. life, man. Oh, right booty. I'm going to keep the weight. I'm going in for a side lunge. Okay, let's go. I'm so sorry guys this is I know this is really really rough especially with the extra weight if that's what you're doing I really am slightly sorry make sure you're bringing the butt way back oh 15 seconds seconds. Two, one. Let me put this down for 10 seconds. Okay. Right leg back. Okay. Dig the heel. Dig the heel. wait for the right time to do the workout where no one's going to bother me, we wouldn't get the challenge done. I wouldn't get the workout to in time. Oh, so you just have to forgive me. Oh. Mm, digging that heel into the floor. Not easy. Not easy. 
Keep the abs tight. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Take the heel down. All right, so because of the interruption before, we're actually gonna hear the triple beep. I'm gonna quickly, quickly reset the timer, and then we'll do the plank jacks. Make sure you're not dropping your chest forward so you don't put any pressure on your back. 18 seconds. Oh my God, guys. Two. Oh my God. All right. I quickly, quickly set, reset the timer. Ignore the three. Ignore the triple. And I'm going to get onto my hands now for the jumping jack plank. Then water break, and then our last round. And I was thinking about doing the kickovers on the couch, uh, over the couch to make it a little harder. I'm gonna stick to the ball because the 60 seconds plus the speed, really, I gotta tell you, is taking me to the level up. It really is. Now, what's really important to me right now is that you don't do this. You can walk it, you can hold a steady plank, just don't come out of the core work that is so crucial in the jumping jack plank. It is 50% of why we're doing it, the other 50 is the cardio, but I need you working your core. Eight seconds. Okay, we're coming up on our water break. Let's push. All right, I am dripping. It is raining from my scalp. Oh, all right, this is our break. I'm gonna reset. hyper-focused because we've got this. We've got this, we've got this, we've got this. Oh my God. All right. Onto your back or the chair, bent knees or not, whatever it is that you're doing, do it. Put your focus cap on, your body hollow cap on, and let's go. I decided to make it a little harder and get my arms off the floor. This is inappropriate for some people, especially if you have any back issues or you have recently given birth and you want the arm support. Let's do the kickover. Um, I'm gonna be 
moving my right, I'm gonna be on my left, and I'm gonna do this as fast as I can, moving my right on my left, which entails more focus, more core work. If you need to slow down, you slow down. Your form is more important than anything on earth when you work out. Oh, oh I'm slowing down not because I want to, it's just my body's slowing down. Oh. Okay, I keep checking to see that everybody's okay. Oh. I'm so on. Like, I'm so on. It's almost as though my daughter's in the other room. That's how on I am. <sighs> She's not, and I'm grateful. Wow, but I really am. Like, let's do this, let's do this. <sighs> but like, I'm, my, half my brain is also like, is everything okay? <sighs> Ten seconds. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We can do this. Oh. Oh my God. On your left. Right leg back. Am I correct? Yeah. about digging that left heel into the floor and trying to keep up a steady fast pace but within a minute I tend to really just slow down by default whether I like it or not which is just the way our body is right so we can't sprint for a minute it's literally impossible for your cells to do that We're almost done with this leg. Two. Oh. Now I'm gonna try to actually go a little further out with the right and go deeper on the left. Oh. So I'm really making it all about oh, digging the heel into the floor. Are you able to go much lower on the lateral lunge. If not, don't, okay? If you feel your back, knee, don't. But if you can make it all about the leg and the booty, digging the heel in, I want you to go for that extra inch of work. <sighs> that extra inch is everything. It is the game changer. And it's really not funny. <laughs> oh my God, this is the real deal. right heel. I'm trying to keep up a steady pace until I absolutely have no choice. 
and then my body just slows down and I try to just keep up the work for this endurance session we have today, which is really breaking our bodies. <sighs> slowing down without meaning to. It's just impossible. Oh, God. All right, we're going to start with the regular uh, range of motion, and then we're going to deepen it. If you're doing this with weights, I just want to give you a heads up, like, or a disclaimer. You're going to have to feel your back, your spinal erectors are working them, when you hold the weight at your chest and you're lunging, you're working your spinal erectors. I'm gonna to try to go lower. Oh. So if it's too much load, too much loading for your back, get rid of the weight. I feel my back, but I feel like I'm just working my back. I feel like I would feel if I was doing a back extension, okay? We are almost done. We are almost done. Oh, seven seconds. Two. Oh my God. This is one of the most not funny workouts. I think we've done in the past, at least in a half year, this is like major endurance, major endurance. Am I right? Is this like one of the hardest we've done lately? Or is it just because basically the body is so sore that we're doing it when we're actually broken? Keep pushing out of the shoulders. Keep pushing the hands into the floor. Okay, 20 seconds. I'm gonna try to really pick up my pace. off of my face. This is really on a whole other level for me right now. Okay. I'm just like, every minute that goes by that I don't have to cut the session, I'm like, yes, just get, let me get through the next few minutes and I'll get to you. <laughs> Body holly time is sacred. It is sacred. Just give me 10 more minutes, world. 10 minutes. 15 burpees. Alternating cross back to lunge. Here we go. We're going to go through the Sam wrap. I don't want you to take too long of a break. Um, one second, let me explain everything to you. Hold on. We have um, 10 minutes. AMRAP stands for as many rounds as possible. The first round we're gonna do together, we're gonna go pretty low and slow. Also to basically have us recover and recover faster. So we're not recovering in full rest. We're gonna recover while we're moving, but we're gonna go slow. Um, and then, and we're gonna do it together. And then we're gonna go for all out and 
uh, kind of get into competition. <laughs> I said it, I said it. Um, so we have 15 burpees, then we have 20 um, alternating cross back lunge to vertical leap. You'll understand everything. We're gonna do the modified version now, especially important if you don't plan on doing any jumping, get this down pat, because this is what you're gonna be doing for your AMRAP if you don't jump, okay? This is the modified version. 10 minutes, guys. 15 burpees, 20 alternating cross back lunge to vertical leap. We're doing the uh, mod, 15 reps. <clears throat> you don't really have to go at my own pace. At my pace, if you want to go faster, go faster. If you want to go slower, go slower. I'm doing a walking burpee, 15 reps. Each of you should be counting your 15 too. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Oh, I know this is also hard. Modified, modified, but really hard. <laughs> 10, five more, four, three, two, oh man, oh, one. Cross back lunge to vertical leap, modified version, 20 reps. One, two, three. I'm giving it a little squat in the middle. Four, five, squat, six, ten, wow, eleven. 12, 13, 14, oh, oh, 17, 18, 19. I don't know if you can see that it's pouring rain from my head. One round. That was one. Okay. 15 burpees. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Definitely the hardest workout we've done in a while. Ten. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Explosive here, mostly just to get through it. Seven, 
17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. That was almost impossible for me. Ah, oh, that was getting very close to impossible. Honestly, if I get one more round, I'm gonna be amazed because this was that hard for me. Wow, okay, one, two, three, I think we're going to do the fastest stretching session ever. I'm going to. You can keep stretching after this. And I can tell that I need it. Fifteen. Oh. One minute and six seconds. Oh my God, 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, come on D, 17, 18, 19, 20, oh, for me. I gotta go get my kid. Four for me. Please stretch with me. Keep stretching if you need to. I recommend they keep going a few minutes. I'm gonna squeeze my butt here. I'm probably gonna really stretch out later with her. Wow. Guys, you're amazing. You're amazing. Just give me this and I'll let you guys go. Stick your butt back, head forward. You're a rock star. Well done, I'm gonna run get her. You can keep stretching. Love you guys. Oh my God, I know. Bye-bye.